Hello, Internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. And it is my distinct honor tonight not only to show you a pedal you've never heard of before, but from a brand you've never heard of before because it's brand new. But the people behind this brand are people you do know. I'm talking David from BSRI, Baltimore Sonic Research Institute, and Jeff from Damnation Audio. They have joined forces to form Salt Box Workshop, and their first pedal is called the Spite Box. Spite Box is a fuzz and distortion box featuring an upper octave and a crossover distortion preamp, a saturated full range distortion circuit, and a powerful active bass boost. With every sale of one of these pedals, a portion of the proceeds go to local Baltimore area schools to benefit their music program so that little rippers can grow up to become big rippers. I don't go heavy very often, but when I do, I prefer that it be something from David from BSRI. So this will work. I'm going to throw this down on a mix on multiple guitar tracks, bass, and synth, because it works incredible on all three of those instruments. And then come on back here, and we will run through Spite Box all by its own song. was fun. I mean, even somebody who 90% of their record collection is jazz and R&B, you know, we like to riff every once in a while, even if we're bad at it. Um, but <laughs> let's take a deeper dive into Spitebox here. We'll start with the controls. So we have a volume control up top that sets the output volume of the pedal. Ample boost is available for the bold. And then here we have a depth control. This is boost only, and it adds low end at 100 hertz. This is a focus peaking filter that gives authority to bass and baritone guitars. Fully counterclockwise is flat. As you increase the amount 
of boost, the circuit rolls off low mids between 200 hertz and 300 hertz to keep the bass from becoming boomy or muddy. And then we have the spite control. This blends crossover distortion and upper octave into the preamp circuit to add cutting power and complex overtones. All right, tonight I will be using a Yamaha Revstar. This is one of the new 2022 models. It's a RSS20, a Revstar standard, and I am running into one of my pride and joy amplifiers, JCM800 from the 80s into the low setting, and it sounds like this. I wanted to show you what this thing is like when you turn everything up, but it is so stinking loud that I had to go in and uh, pad my mic. So uh, here we go. Here's what it sounds like dimed. This pedal is ultimately made for low focused instruments, obviously with the depth control. And uh, it sounds awesome on bass. So I'm just running straight into a Sans Amp RBI, one of the rack mount units, and uh, straight into a Universal Audio 4710D. 
and uh, it sounds just huge. So that's just a brief look at the Spite Box from Salt Box Workshop, which is the brainchild of David from BSRI and Jeff from Damnation Audio. And it is, no surprise, a ripper and a half. It sounds just huge. It is so humongous. My whole house just shook when I played this thing. And um, I like it. I like it a lot. I like that. I like the texture with the Spite. I think that adds a lot, especially when you're adding more lows and then adding that upper octave for some extra texture, but also extra definition on the notes, especially when you're playing bass. I also really like the fact that it's gated. That's cool. You can go from just searing distortion and take your hands off the strings and then it's dead silent. That's rad. Um, And I like the fact that this is a philanthropic venture. That's cool. I am all about people who want to give money to music education. So... All in all, this is a great, great thing. So thank you guys for sending this over for me to check out, and thank you for your time. (laughs) 